get ready to go. We're glad that you're all here, so now it's time to start the show. We're not in school, but we can still pretend by making music until this ends. We're making music with our Falcon friends. Hey there, Falcons. Guys, today we are talking about a composer. Special class today. Okay, we're going to be learning about a composer, having some fun things to listen to, some fun things to watch, some fun activities to do. So you know what? Enough talking about it. Let's make some music. We're making music with our Falcon friends. Oh, geez. Sorry, second grade. I was really... Getting into this, so, you know, we listened this a couple weeks ago. This is a piece of music called the New World Symphony by a composer, Anthony Dvorak. Now, we've talked about the symphony just very briefly a couple weeks ago, the New World Symphony, but I'll talk a little bit today about the composer, Anthony Dvorak. Dvorak, well, you know, I could tell you a little bit about him, but I actually have a really fun video I found that has some really good information about Dvorak. So, I'm going to turn it over to that video right now. Let's take a listen. We're making music with our Falcon. Composers are often asked, where does inspiration for your music come from? The answer is everywhere, and sometimes right under their noses. Meet Antonin Dvorak, the oldest of 14 children who was born in a small village in 1841 in what is now the Czech Republic. As a child, he learned to play the piano, organ, and violin from the local schoolmaster, Though his father hoped he'd become a butcher like himself, Antonin was able to make a living as a musician and eventually a composer. Over the next two decades, Dvorak became famous throughout Europe, composing nine symphonies, ten operas, many choral pieces and chamber works, most heavily influenced by the traditional folk music of his homeland. At the age of 50, Dvorak accepted a position in New York City at the National Conservatory of Music. There he met H.T. Burley, a singer and composer who introduced Dvorak to Spirituals, the song sung by Africans who'd been captured in their homeland and forced to work as slaves in the United States. Inspired by these traditional African-American melodies, Dvorak's own music began to take on a similar flavor. The following year, during a visit to the Midwest, Dvorak's musical influence shifted again as he traveled by train to a village of Czech immigrants in Iowa and then on to Minnesota. Here he visits a place he'd only read about, a place that is, quote, so intensely beautiful that words cannot describe it. That place is Minnehaha Falls. Staring into the shimmering water, he describes falling into a trance-like state and is inspired to write a piece of music reflecting the tunes and songs of Native Americans who lived in this part of the world. Having no paper or computer, he scribbles the music on the cuff of his sleeve. Later, it's dubbed Indian Lullaby for incorporating such influences as repeated phrases and the pentatonic scale, which uses five notes per octave instead of seven. More than 100 years later, Dvorak is credited with helping this young country find its own musical heart. At the time of his extended visit here, most American composers looked to European sources for inspiration. Yet Antonin Dvorak was a famous European composer who encouraged us to listen to the songs, tunes, and sounds already here.
We're making music with our Falcon friends. Wow, some very interesting information there about Dvorak. Now, we talked about the New World Symphony. I want to put that video up for you. I'm going to put it up right now. This is his ninth symphony, his New World Symphony. I want to put it on for you. I want you to listen to it. Uh, this is actually kind of cool. It was played by different people all over the place. They recorded it online and put it all together. Kind of fun how you can do that nowadays. But take a look. Take a listen to the New World Symphony because coming up next, we're going to get a chance to actually learn how to play the melody of this symphony. Take a listen. We're making music with our Falcon friends. All right, now the New World Symphony is a symphony written by Dvorak, but the melody is sort of like a folk melody. Now, a folk melody is a melody that is kind of not written by anyone in particular. It's kind of written by just a community of people. A lot of the songs we sing during Making Music with Our Falcon Friends, those are folk songs. And this song was not technically a folk song, but was very much inspired by the music of the people from where, he was, where Dvorak was writing here in America. So I want to take a time right now to actually get a chance to play the New World Symphony, the melody for it. Here's what you're going to need. You're going to need some construction paper because we did this just a little while ago. We're going to be making some tubes, okay? We're going to be making some tubes. You're going to need to make tubes. I have all the descriptions down here below, but all you need is construction paper. You need some tape. You need a glue stick, and really that's about it. You can get by with just those things making these. You're going to make one tube for dough, and it's going to be nine and seven eighths inches long, okay? That's your biggest one, because it's our lowest one. Remember, the bigger the tube, the lower the sound. That's dough. Next one is going to be ray. Ray is going to be eight and a quarter inches long. Again, this is all in the description below, okay? You've seen how to make these before. You should know how to do that by now. Next one is me. Me is seven and three quarters inches long, so I'm going to cut those out. So is five and a half inches long, okay? These are the four that you need, do, re, mi, and so, to play the New World Symphony melody. Bum, 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 bum. We can play that with just these four, okay? Coming up next, I'm going to show you how to play those. But first of all, make sure you have these made. Take a little bit of time, make those instruments, and come up next, I'm going to show you how you can play it on them. Alrighty, second grade, here is what you need to do to play the melody for the New World Symphony, okay? The four that you need are Do, Re, Mi, and So, okay? If you have these four, you can play the melody. I'm going to play it for you. Down in the description below are the notes that you need, are the solfeggings that you need. See if you can figure out how to play it and watch along. Here we go. Mi, So, So, 
Okay, watch it again. It's a little bit tricky, okay? I'll take a little bit slower this time. Here we go, watch. Me, so, so. Me, re, do. Re, mi, so. Me, re. Me, so, so. Me, re, do. Re, mi, re, do, do. So if you have your little boom sticks, your boom whackers made, see if you can play in that order. It's tricky. You're going to have to practice it, okay? But it'll sound very, very nice if you can play it. So good luck and have some fun. We're making music with our Falcon friends. All right, great. So guys, just with those four, you can play an entire melody for that symphony. Now, if you want to make one more, you can do that too. You can have another one because we know another one. We know La. La, if you want to make the tube for La, five and a quarter inches, okay? So if you make all five of these, you have a pretty good collection of notes there. Here's what I'd like you to do. You can make up your own melody using these. What I'd like you to do is make up your own melody using your boom whackers. So think about this. I'm going to give you just a couple of guidelines, a couple of tips to make a really good melody. Your melody can start wherever you want. You can start on do, you can start on re, you can start on mi, you can start on so, you can start on la. Any of them is fine, okay? But here's a, here's a good way to make it sound good. At the end, the last one you should play should probably be do. If you end it on do, it's going to sound like a pretty good ending, okay? So what I'd like you to do is come up with a little melody, a little folk melody of your own using these four or five if you want to make that extra one too, and then record yourself doing it and send it to me on a Flipgrid. I have a link down there below. You can be a little bit like Dvorak, making up your own melody using these notes, just like Dvorak did for his New World Symphony. So have some fun, make some music, and can't wait to see what you come up with. We're making music with our Falcon friends. Well, we sure had fun this week, didn't we? So, until next time, grab your coat and get your hat. Leave your worries on the doorstep. Just direct your feet to the sunny side of the street. Can't you hear? Thank you.